How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So while we are waiting for these next four baby villagers to grow up, you were asking me to do a world tour. So I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of my base. I know it's not completely finished and I'm still, I would say, in the early-ish game. So I don't have too much stuff, but I'll be happy to show you what I have first. So I guess we'll start with uh, the base that I have for myself. Let me get into the outside over here. Oh, and it looks like it's becoming nighttime, but that's okay. So I found this nice little mountain area, which I decided to dig into to make my base. But then my pickaxe was running out of... <laughs> running out of um, durability. So in that case, I just ended up making most of the stuff outside. But I have a little cow farm going over here. I still have half a stack of cooked beef, so I don't really need that anymore. I also had a little wheat farm going over here, but because I mostly stay indoors, it wasn't loaded in the chunk, so I ended up moving that. I have a horse over here. I tamed a horse. His name is George. Hello, George. It's been a hot minute since I've taken him out. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. How did this thing get out of the water? Oh, my God. If this thing kills me, I'm going to be really upset. I'm just going to stay crouched like this. Did he drop the trident? Did he drop the trident? No, I don't think so. Man, but they do so much damage. Okay, I need to get to bed. <laughs> it wouldn't be a world tour if I didn't show you how absolutely difficult it is to be outside my base at night. So let me just... Well, now that I'm inside, I guess I'm safe. So over here, I kind of have all my work blocks. I got a smoker. I got some furnaces, crafting table, anvil, and a stone cutter. So these are all like my utility blocks. I have a very early chest system over here. So in this top chest, I have just a bunch of cobblestone. I had a lot more, so it needed its own chest. This is like the blocks chest with wood, different different types of blocks, different kinds of woods and some fences. This is kind of like my, I guess you would say your junk chest. It just, has, it just holds everything. It holds my ores, lapis, slime balls, flint, uh, my nautilus shell just you know the random items that you end up using and then all of like my broken items over here this chest over here is like a natural type of chest so you could find um food you can find seeds you can find mob drops anything kind of like natural i like to put in here flowers as well and over here i have another chest because i did a little nether run but um yeah and it didn't really fit with the other stuff so i have that over here, I have an enchanting table, and soon I'll be able to be a level 30 enchant, so I'll be able to um, enchant some really awesome stuff. Over here, this is the side of the mountain. I want to open this up, put some glass panes over here to make it a little nicer, but that hasn't been a priority for right now. Now, over here, this, I would say, is the most important part of my whole base. So, you see, I outlined this area with cobblestone. This is exactly one chunk. It is 16 blocks by 16 blocks. So the goal of this is that I want to stand in this one chunk and I want to have all my farms around me working at the same time. So I don't have to have multiple spots to AFK if I want to get a ton of items. So I've built everything around this. So the first thing I have over here, I have a potions room. This is a cool little potions area that I made, which is really efficient. Basically, you load this thing up with water bottles. They automatically feed into the brewing stand. And then you could just put your, your ingredients to make potions. And whatever you make, I store here on the right. I also have the water source blocks to make those water bottles. And I think this is a really efficient way to uh, make potions. I've already made splash potions of weakness. That's how I got my villager farm started. 
All right, so the next part of my base over here is a wool farm. So it's super efficient. It uses really advanced grass block mechanics. I have a full tutorial for this on my channel as well. And basically, I am just farming red wool. I needed a lot for the beds when I was making the iron farm. So I don't need as much anymore, but it's always nice to collect because it could be used for... Uh, Example, mining netherite in the nether when you just place beds and explode, uh, you know, the blocks around it and the netherite just stands. So this is pretty cool. So the grass block is ready. I don't think the sheep are ready to eat. So this thing is kind of passive, uh, except for the fact that you got to load it with uh, shears every so often. But it looks like my shears are pretty good. All right. So this area over here. Um, I tried digging this out. I wanted to add more farms, but this is when my pickaxe ran out of durability. So I figured I should just stop this project. So this is just kind of an open chunk, which I don't have any plans for it right now. In the back over here, I have a little lava farm going. Uh, when you have a lava source block with dripstone, it drips into the cauldrons, which fills them up and you can get lava, which is pretty cool. And this is, I'm probably going to turn this area into like a super smelter where I could just have um, buckets of lava that just power the furnaces. All the way in the back over here, we have my bed. The reason why I did this is because my bed needed to be 64 blocks away from the villager farm. So that's why it's all the way over here. It's not very, it's not a very nice bedroom. I'm not going to lie but I don't spend a lot of time sleeping. I'm on my grind, right? So I think like the first uh, project that I end up working on for like aesthetics is definitely going to be this bedroom. Uh, maybe point it towards outside or something. So, oh, and I have one more farm going on under here. So this is a bamboo farm. Um, I'll try to show you if I break... Try not to break into it. Basically, I just wanted it to be hidden because it is kind of an eyesore. But if you see, I have a whole row of bamboos over here. And I have this, I have a second set on the other side. So it's, it's just a bamboo farm. That's it. The bamboo grows. The, I have an observer that detects that change. And what it does is... If I could just take it out. Hold on a second. The observer powers this redstone, which launches this hopper with a minecart and collects all the bamboo. So this is a nice little bamboo farm and also a sugarcane farm. In the beginning, I was farming sugarcane, but I realized I'd need the bamboo to make sticks so I could trade with the villagers. So I switched it to a bamboo farm, but I could easily just switch it back to a sugarcane farm. All right. If you like what you're seeing so far, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right, this area here looks a little dark. I'm just going to place down two more torches. I don't want nothing spawning down here. All right, and then outside over here, on the right side over here, we have a tree farm, which is actually more just like a stick farm. I need a lot of sticks to trade with the villagers. So what I did was I built these massive spruce trees and you see I built them up on this platform over here so that the pod zole doesn't spread to my grass below and I can keep my area nice and clean. So I have quite a few trees over here. That's uh, So that's working really well actually. And then over here on the left side, which is a bit more of a recent development, I have my wheat farm. So this is to make bread to breed more villagers. And I also planted a whole bunch of acacia wood because I love the look of acacia wood. I love the acacia doors, trap doors. So I try to get as much of that as I can. And last but not least, we have this huge villager farm. You can fit up to 60 villagers in here. Uh, you could trade with them a whole bunch. Um, yeah, so I'm just currently trying to populate that and try to uh, get some diamond gear. Uh, because I'm just using broken iron stuff right now. So we'll try to get some diamond gear, diamond armor, diamond tools. That's going to be useful. And it's also an iron farm as well. 
you'll see over here I got some uh, iron already. So that's it for my world. Um, I guess the next plan that I have is just to trade with the villagers to get better stuff. Uh, try to get some enchanted... Um, some, try to get some good enchants on my armor also. And then... After I'll be able to go out into the world and get some cactus because I think the cactus farm is the next project that I'm going to work on. But I still have a ton of work to do here with the villager farm. But let's go check on these villagers to see if they have grown yet. No. Oh, this one grew. So this one should be growing soon. And I had to just place a few more trap doors. Do I have any acacia wood on me? I do not. So let me go grab that last bit of acacia wood. And actually, I needed to make uh, blast furnaces because I want to trade with the villagers to get diamond armor. And the villager needs a blast furnace to do that. So, to make a blast furnace, so I'm going to make two of them because you need um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, if I just, just like that. Oh, whoops. Yeah, because one of them is going to give you the uh, the pants and the chest plate, and the other one's going to give you the helmet and the boots. So I'm going to need two. Um, two blast furnaces, and I need to cook. I need a oh, coal. Yeah, I guess I'll take two pieces of coal. That should be enough. So what I need to do is. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to cook this. And then I'll have it enough to make the blast furnace. I then I need to make two furnaces as well. So the recipe for a blast furnace is uh, <clears throat> five iron, one furnace, and the smooth stone. But the smooth stone is just the stone cooked again. So that's what I'm just trying to do right now. So once I get six of them, I'll be able to make two of those. And then I need the acacia. I'll just bring all the acacia logs with me because I need to make the trap doors. So four, almost done. And this is also giving a, t a chance for the villagers to grow up so I could uh, trade with them and reset... Um, the baby trap to breed more villagers perfect so let me make two of those all right perfect so i'm just going to deliver these to the iron farm but i think this is a great place to end the video if you liked it please leave me a like leave me a comment tell me what you think and hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it all right have an awesome day toaster out